Last time we were able to finally confirm a change of an email of a user into the Firebase database, which took uh, quite a while because you get to go through a lot of steps. I have the steps right here, re-authenticate, check if the email already exists, and then change the email. Um, in the next part now, we're going to start actually changing the rest of the information in the user profile. So it's going to be way easier than changing the username or changing the email because we don't care about, about checking for uniqueness. Basically, we just want to check if the user made a change. If they did, then submit it to the database. That's it. So we can do if uh, m user settings get oops user settings get settings get display name doesn't equal the display name in the text up there. So doesn't equal display name. Then we know that we have a change. So we can just go update display name and of course I need to make actually make these methods uh, but I'm just going to write them all out first the, the logic out first before I do that and the next one is going to be get website so get website get website and update website and this is going to be get description description update description and then we have phone number see really you should probably be checking for uniqueness in phone number two but this isn't like a real instagram production app so i'm not going to bother but if if you were going to do any kind of authentication with a phone number or anything like that you definitely would need to check and make sure that that was unique but i am not going to do that just because this um it's just going to take too long i want to cut corners anywhere i can really so update phone number okay so we have all that stuff. Now we're going to go into our Firebase methods here and we're going to create um, those methods. I'm just going to create a single method for doing it all and it'll be able to handle basically everything. So public void update, I guess let's say user account settings. And we need all those parameters. So the first one was uh, display name, the second one was, uh, which was it? Website. Third one was, I forgot description and string uh, what was that one it was phone number actually it's long okay so that's that, and it's gonna be very simple. We just wanna copy this uh, database reference stuff. And actually, let's write a log. So updating user account settings. And if you wanted to, I would suggest like printing out all these just in case, for debugging purposes, if you're getting like null values or something and you wanna figure out where they are, definitely print these out. But this is pretty straightforward for me, so I'm just gonna straight up insert them. Um, watch there be an error now. <laughs> Uh, so the first one is going to be, oh, we need to make all these fields. So let's go into strings and make these fields. So this is, we need uh, four more. So one, two, three, four. And this one's going to be display name and website description. And that was uh, phone number. So display name, website, website, description, and phone number. Okay, so those are done. Let's go over into here. And the first one, of course, is display name. And then pass the display name. And let's copy that. And same thing, this is website and pass website and description, description and phone number, field phone number. Okay, so that's good, except the way I want to handle it is in the profile. So here, for example, I'm going to go Firebase methods dot update user account settings. And the only one I want to update is the display name, and then I want to pass null, 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 null. So I don't want to actually, oh, I can't pass null for the phone number, uh, zero. So 
I don't want to actually insert null values, so uh, I just want to. I'll just write some logic here. So if a display name is not equal to null, then insert, and that's how I'm going to handle that. So I'm going to copy that a bunch more times. Put one there. Put one there. Put one there. We need the bracket, 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 and this looks kind of stupid. Bring that over. So if website does not equal null, if description does not equal null, and then if phone number does not equal zero. And that'll be that. So that way I can use the same method to update. I just gotta change the parameter. So update website, change that one to null, and I want to pass the website, and then do it again. I'll just write them all in here this time. This, oh, that's actually mixed up. That's supposed to be null. That's website. That's description. And so null. And then this is phone number. So that way it'll handle all of the rest of the settings. So change the rest of the settings that do not require uh, uniqueness. Okay, so we're ready to test. Let's uh, run the app and take a look. Okay, let's go to the profile and we'll click on edit your profile. So this is the display name here, Mitch. Uh, so let's actually get the database open. Let's go to the database and we'll find uh, Mitch, which is this guy right here. Let's close everything else and have the app and let's change my username to Mitch T and just hit save. You can see it was submitted to um, Mitch T there. And what else? Let's change a whole bunch of stuff. So let's change this to Mitch T. And we're going to go uh, website coding with Mitch. Whoops. Coding with Mitch.com. Description is I like to write dem codes. And hit save. And we see my description is updated, my website is updated. Let's make sure that nobody else's was, so you can see that was not updated. And there was no checks required, nothing, just basically inserting the data. So pretty cool, pretty easy. Um, checking for uniqueness is pretty much the most difficult part. So that's it for this video. Once again, add me on Snapchat, add me on Instagram. Snapchat is just Mitch Tabian, all one word. My Instagram is just Mitch.Tabian.